Here we are in Uncle's Bar, and here's all these salamis. G'day everyone, welcome back. Another episode of Spider Willie's Adventures. How you going, Uncle? Hi, how you going, Stu? This is Uncle Rolf. Welcome, buddy. Uh, something different for you today. We're not we're not fishing, we're not flying, we're not four-wheel driving. We are gonna be making, what are we making? Salami and copper coal. I went to the Dandenong market and I bought two whole pork necks. I bought 10 kilos of pork mince. So I did it, I got 50-50, I got five kilos of pork neck and I got five kilos of pork shoulder minced together. Minced once on the big holes of the mincer. You ask them to do that, they'll do that for you. What have you done with the pork okay. necks here, Uncle? Pork necks, I've cut these already in half. Uh, and like so, you can see here, I've added back, back fat, and that really makes the flavour of the uh, copper cola. And then once you've got that, what we're doing is... So you've, so you've run the knife. Yes, right through there. Run the knife through there. Once that gets uh, netted, then it's going to be a roll, all one shape in uh, one bag, a roll, shall I say. Container full of salt on the bottom. We roll it in the salt. Make sure in the crevices in here, you've got all salt in there as well. Don't miss any spots in here too. All over. Make sure there's plenty of salt on the bottom. And that one's done. Next one. I'll take that back fat out first. Want to get salt in there to cure all the meat. So it's very important to use the right salt. Oh, uh, you must. So just like oils ain't oils, salt ain't all, salt ain't salts, are they, Uncle? Exactly. That's the base. That's all covered, as you can see. Actually, I'll put this in there now. Where's that nearly behind? It's okay. And what's the reason we're putting in this piece of back fat, Uncle? The reason the extra flavour, boy, is to make a difference to the flavour. It absorbs all the flavours you, you put on around later on, absorbs, absorbs all the flavour and are oh, delectable. And approximately, I'd say, for four pieces like I've got here, you probably need about three to four kilos of salt. Top it up. Not too much. Now, with this all topped up with salt, it's all ready to go to put it in the fridge overnight. Prepping the salami, so add our spices. I like the salami all hot, so this whole batch <laughs> it's going to be super hot. It's going to be nice and spicy. So what do we got here, Uncle? What are we what, okay. are, what are we adding in? Now we've got some fresh chilies, all chopped. Ten chilies, all diced up out of my out of my veggie garden. Probably about twenty five. Yep. Now next, we've got some cayenne pepper, and also we've got some pepper and chili combined, paprika powder. My favourite, the sriracha <laughs> hot chilli sauce. Any red, uh, chilli ground pepper, but flossy salt. I'll yeah, show you the bag. That. That's the flossy salt. And uh, it's 300 grams to it, or 280 grams to 300 grams per 10 kilos. Middle than 20 minutes. Oh, we'll go back to the video and we'll show you when after 20 minutes what the meat is like at the moment. You can see that, if I turn my hand over, it's just going to fall down. When, it's, when you work on it for 20 minutes, working the meat, it's got to be able to stick to your hand and then you know it's all ready to, uh, to net. Chili and pepper, one teaspoon. And sprinkle all over evenly. Start a teaspoon. Once again, evenly over, all over. Scratch a silly chili sauce. Here we go. Here we go. I think that might be enough here, sir. 
A very important ingredient, the salt. It helps cures it. Absorbs all the uh, flavors. Okay, some cayenne pepper. Red wine, Penfolds Grange. <laughs> <laughs> Half a cup, that's a bit more, but that'll do. Got me dry chili flakes. I reckon we should put in a, a good lid or so. Good lid, there we go. There we go. And here we have Uncle kneading away. Best part. <laughs> Just 20 minutes and that'll become, become nice and sticky. And you know it's pretty well done there. Yeah? Okay, time to get our hands dirty. Let's get in here and knead it. Very important, uh, once again, make sure your hands are washed before you get into the meat. And the other thing is that uh, you can only do this in winter time, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, best time around about mid-June, uh, mid pushing it down with your knuckles, make it nice and flat, and sticky. So we've been kneading and kneading and kneading away from a hand. It's a lot more, a lot more sticky, and that's the way that's the way we want it. Make a little bright miniature hamburgers just to get a taste of the. Uh, flavours you put in, uh, in case you want to add to it. All right, Steve, there's a sample. There's right, that taste. Here we go. Here we go. But not as hot as you would like. No idea. <laughs> not as hot as I would like it. More spice, no deal. Okay. <laughs> 400 ml of the karacha, extra spicy sauce. In the ground chili. I should add some extra kick. Half a jar, oh, okay. Well, we've only 40, 20 grams, that's okay. A little bit more chili flakes. A little bit more chili flakes. Another lead of the chili flakes. A lead, okay, I'll put that on the lid so I won't spill too much. I'll give it two. <laughs> now we're gonna blend all this together and, uh, and then ready for casing. I reckon that's got our that's got our spice level to where I would like it, Uncle. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Uncle. It's a lot more red in, in colour now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nearly forgot the back fat. Now we've just cut these in little cubes, as you can see. And the uh, best way to do it is to have this flat out now and just place them in. Here we go. 20, 30 mil. I wouldn't make any slavery with ours. There you go. So we're going to knead this in and then we're just about done for tonight. Morning, Uncle. How are we doing? Morning, Steve. Here uh, we go. Ready to finalise the uh, salamis in copper cola. You'll see a difference in colour with the meat. A lot more firmer and sort of brown in uh, shade of colour. Now we're going to wash this, all the salt off and prepare it for whatever spices you wish to have. Just wash it under the normal water. In between the crevices and everything, get all, get all that salt out. Now the salt's been washed off. Now we're going to add some red wine, the Penfold Grange. <laughs> and we're going to rub it all in. That, uh, after soaking the copper collars in red wine, uh, now we're going to dry it all out, paying attention to the creases, ready for uh, the spicing. Okay, ready for uh, the spicing. So we're going to use the scratcher sauce again, Steve's favourite. Massage it all in. Yeah, don't be shy with that yummy stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, forget the ends. Uh, we're going to add on some more chilli uh, with pepper. So we're going to get a teaspoon of it. On the other side. Now what, do you remember what this is? The back yeah, fat. The back fat. <laughs> Don't forget the back fat. That's vital. Roll that up. That's going to turn up beautiful when it's all done. 
Yeah. Have a look at the colour that looks new. That's magnificent. Looks good. Nice. I can even see the flames coming out. <laughs> Next stage, we're going to uh, wrap them up in collagen paper. Oh, cool. <laughs> There we go. Put that on the end. And then we just go wrap her up. So easy. Now by doing this, you're massaging the oil and the chili scratcher sauce onto the paper, which helps it to stick. Give it a roll over. And the pat, make sure it's a bit of our outside. Time we net it, uh, it's going to be quite round and you'll see the, the finished product. The end bit, just add a bit of water. That, that makes it all sticky. Go around like that. Go over. Don't be shy of being done like that because, uh, like I said, it's going to be very easy to come off of that after. Over like that, a bit more water. Now that's ready to uh, be netted. A netting tube, it's called. Netting tube. Just pull the loop top off. And we just slide that copper collar in there, gently out by the net. And voila. The excess piece will just cut off, trim off, and uh, tie a knot on the end. See how nice and round it is? Sensational. Well, this is filling time. We get our we get our all spice meat that we did last night. For the salamis, yep. For the salamis. Make sure that there's no air pockets. Very good. Uh, size five kilo. Uh, the most popular, and most commonly used. Uh, you can get, just Google uh, salami home making equipment and uh, you, there's a number of branches you can go to or places you go to. And I'll wind it down. Soaked in some uh, collagen casing here. Got a casing to it in there. Then we loop it over, tie it off again. Away we go. Just want to give, give the handle a gentle turn. And as you can see, there's no air coming in that pocket, in the collagen. Couple of knots on the end. There you have it. Yep. I'll tie it off at either end so I can hang it whichever way. Yep. So now we're going to net the salamis. Yes. We've getting there, we finished. Ooh. That was on there. We put all the netting on. We flip her over. Yep. Grab the netting with the sausage, salami, shall I say. And gently take her up. So easy. Yeah, we've got to the end. Just cut the netting off. Just the, the, just the netting. <laughs> Not the string. There we go. There you have it. All ready to go. To hang for six weeks. Okay, we're in the last stage. Uh, last stages. Uh, with the copper collar. 
as well as uh, salamis. Now we've got, I've got this, uh, it's a, a pricker. I might want to be up close to these, I can, so I can see with the needles. Very, very sharp, so you don't really want to uh, accidentally hit your fingers, because <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll know. So all we do is the pricker, just like that. Uh, as we were filling it, uh, we made sure we were careful not too much no, air got through. But this is just an insurance. Uh, if there's any air in there uh, with the casing and netting done, uh, you're not going to have any air in there whatsoever. You'll get a white mould, and that is perfect mould. It's nothing to be scared of. You're thinking something, something's gone wrong with meat. No, it hasn't. Uh, you know it's perfect, uh, but you can wipe it off with red wine or a spirit of some sort, and that will clean it all up easily. Okay, so this is what we've ended up with. So the two pork. That's one pork neck. One pork neck. Two pork necks. And these are the these are the four copper collos. Yep. So they're the ones that we started in in the salt, then with the red wine and the spices and wrapped them up. Yep. There's two layers here. There is heaps. We've got I don't know. 20, 20 about 20 odd salamis there. So I'm just going to go ahead now and prick all these salamis. Uh, thank you so much, Uncle, for helping me You're make them again this year. Looking very forward to trying this corporate collo and the, these salamis. Uh, so I'm going to prick all these and then uh, weigh them all, tag them all, uh, and I'll show you. I'll show you that bit in the garage soon. Cheers. Thanks, Uncle. Enjoy. Will do. <laughs> The end product in six weeks time, uh, this will be the final piece of work. Um, that, Uncle. Now I shall open the back case. Now in the prior back, it will last three, four, five years. You keep it in the cool place, or in the bottom of the drawer, it will last for many years, no problem. Now I'll just give it a sample. I'll take the skin off. These are the peel back. So this is one from last year. Exactly. See the, these are back fat. There it is. Just there, pointing out there. The chilies one. Not as much as yours too. Have a taste of this too. Awesome uncle. Really good. Beautiful. It's a bit of an investment. Yep, to, definitely. To get started, but once you get started, once you've bought the, the salami filler or sausage filler, and you, then you need to buy all the other bits and pieces, once you've made the in, in, initial investment, it's well worth it. Best salami ever. Yep. Thanks, Uncle. Cheers. All the copper collars and all salamis ready for to uh, eating. Eating. <laughs> So back here at home now, and just been weighing up the salami, got my little scale. So just work out what 30% is. So there you got your starting weight of 335, and I want this to come down to 235, and that's when I know it'll be ready. So in about four weeks, I'll start weighing these. It normally takes about five to five to six weeks. I've uh, got my little rack hanging from the roof, just here in the garage, not as fancy as Uncle's uh, bar, but does the trick. And I've also got these little tim uh, these little paper things here, and very important to have those, just in case you get any vermin that somehow try and get to here. As soon as they hit that, the mice will just fall off, so... Just thought I'd show you what, I've been do what I will be doing in about five, six weeks time, so... There's your salami, it's not dried out yet. Uh, when it is dry, I'll cut that in half and then half will fit into the, the cryovac bag just like that. And that's my little cryovac machine. 